Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Pentiment, the modest monastic murder mystery set in the town of Tassing, of course. So, we are just uh, exploring the town, really, and getting to know some of the townsfolk. Uh, well, more specifically, we are getting to know what they know about the history of Tassing, because we're going to be helping our old man Klaus in constructing the mural for the Rat House. So, so far, we've had a nice little word with Black Till. We've had spoken to Ill Peter. Blacktail did suggest that we go check out the old mine, and we will be doing that at some point, but I've got a feeling that that's going to be either something's going to go wrong, or that's going to be an extended period of time. So we're just going to see if we can finish up talking to the rest of the villagers, so, like, while we can now, and assuming it's not uh, time permitting. So we're here with our guy Balthazar. We're going to see if he knows anything. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, have a word with him. Hey, Balthazar. Magdalene, hello. I was just jotting down a new, few new ideas. Did you need anything? Yes, if you have a moment. I need to get into the old salt mine, but I don't have a way down. Can you help me? Hmm, to get into the salt mine, yes. You must be on quite the adventure. Ideally, you could rig up a double pulley system to lower and raise yourself in the shaft. But that might take a while. Well, I would like to go in today, if possible. Of course, of course. Would a good length of rope suffice? You could brace against the wall of the mineshaft. Are you strong enough to support your own weight? Against the wall? I don't think so. I, I mean, I think so. Excellent! Thank you, Balthas. Of course, of course. Here you go. Do be careful, though. Make sure the ropes are secure. I will. Until later. Good luck, Magdalene. Okay, that was a lot shorter than uh, I thought it would be. It was a lot quicker than I thought. So, I mean, yeah, that kind of just helped our investigation into the mine, which is fine. But we're not going there yet. Let's go talk to the charcoal burner. Let's see if he's got anything to say. Basically, the mine is the last thing we want to be doing. I think. I mean, I'm not sure. It might be the wrong way to go about it, but I've, I've got a feeling. Uh, where are we going? To the forest. That is over here. And let's go talk to Smokey. Hello, is there anything I can do for you? Knives need sharpening? Uh, I'm Magdalene Drukarin. Are you a friend of Smokey's? Uh, I'd like to think so. I'm Voxlov. I'm a tinker. Travel around and help people out with sharpening knives, little things like that. Drukarin, are you a printer's daughter? I am. My father is a printer. Uh, I'm the print. I'm the printer. Uh, yeah, I am. My father is a printer. Do you sample the wares much? Uh, yes, I read books. Voxlov, don't. Oh, he's trying to. He's trying to incite religious rebellion in us with his uh, reformation ideas, this guy. You're going to get into trouble again. Trouble from me? Uh, wait, what's he talking about? Nothing. Ignore him. Nothing? This one can't help but talk to people about all of the strange things he believes. He reads all sorts of books, talks to old folks, gets ideas brewing in his head. Now that doesn't... Now that doesn't bother old Smokey, none. Bothers some other people a whole lot. Uh, who? It doesn't bother me any. Uh, yeah, sounds, it doesn't bother me any. Well, if it doesn't bother you and it doesn't bother old Smokey... Sounds like there's nothing to worry about. Fine, you get run out of here again. Don't blame me. Uh, again, do I want to know what happened? Uh, a long time ago, I got into an argument with some people in town. They told Father Thomas. Oh dear. To his credit, he told them to let it go, but somehow an inquis inqu inquisitor found out. Oh dear. Anyway, I had to leave for a while. So, books? Strange ideas? Yes, the host, the Eucharist, the bread the and wine, body and blood of Christ. Holy Communion? What about it? More and more, people are writing about rejecting transubstantiation. The idea that the bread and wine of the Eucharist literally become the body and blood of Christ. Here we go. Yes? Well, there are two ways to look at it. 
The first is on the ground that Wycliffe and Hus rejected it. Uh, Wycliffe, uh, I believe, was an English... Uh, was he an English preacher or something? He, he was one of the first to make a, a, an English translation of the Bible that was subsequently used as the progenitor for the very famous King James Bible. Uh, using our eyes, our senses, there is nothing perceptible that changes in the character of the bread and the wine. Uh, that doesn't mean it hasn't actually changed, though. Uh, must our senses necessarily encompass all of God's miracles for them to be real? Mm. I mean, yeah, that doesn't mean it... Uh, well, no, I suppose that's true. Good. But there is also a second point. Even if the bread and wine turn to Christ's body and blood, why is that necessary for spiritual communion? We are bound by flesh, attempting to reunite with the light of God through the Eucharist. The act, the observance, unites our will with that of Christ. He is present in us through the remembrance, not the physical act. Are you following this, Smokey? <laughs> Isn't that heresy? So what does that matter? Are you saying we shouldn't take communion? Um, I mean, is that kind of what he's implying? Or... Well, I think rather he's implying that the, the gesture of communion itself is symbolic rather than uh, material. Uh, and the materiality of it isn't as important as the symbolism. So, uh, yeah, what are you saying? You, you saying it doesn't matter? No, there's nothing wrong with taking communion as a rite or act. But if you accept what I'm saying, there are other things I'd like to discuss. I'm not listening to any of this. Oh, Smokey. Are you ready to hear why it's important to disbelieve in transubstantiation? Uh, sure, why not? Yes, I'm certain this is leading somewhere good. Uh, yeah, okay. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, but alright. This all starts with Lucifer creating the world. Excuse me? Let's say nothing. God was the Word, and the Word was truth, and truth is light. The light is God's will. God's light contained aspects, what we consider angels, facets of his infinite intellect. One of those aspects separated itself from his intellect and manifested in the darkness as the corrupt will, Lucifer. The darkness? To exist outside of the boundaries of God's infinite light, the corrupt will brought into it in being an equally infinite darkness. Within that darkness, Lucifer cast his false light, a corrupted imitation of the divine intellect, to create the world. All material in our world is inherently a corrupted manifestation of that false light. We still have a connection to God through our intellect, but it is flawed by existing in our physical bodies. So Genesis is wrong, was Jesus flawed by being a man even though he was born of a virgin? Uh, but you still believe we can be redeemed? Uh, I mean, should we, should we carry on with this here? Like, where's he gonna go with this? I mean, clearly he's, uh, he's come to believe some heretical teachings. Um... Was Jesus... Uh... I, I have no idea. Where are we gonna go with this here? But you still believe we can be redeemed through Christ, right? Well, of course. Finally, some sense. But not in the way that you think. Of course not. The way to be redeemed is to reunite our will with God's. How do we do that? Regular prayer, abstention from material desires, sublimation, and elimination of want. That just sounds like being a monk. No, no. Priests and monks both are corrupt agents of the business of the church. They have taken the simplicity of holy devotion and profaned it with pa pageantry. The saints, too. All this talk of Moritz and Satya and miracles, they're just stories. The church has led people astray. Put the hope of people in meaningless rituals, faith in relics. Faith in relics. I don't think so. I believe what Father Thomas teaches is true gospel. I can see why you don't go to town much. You have some interesting ideas, Vaxlov. I'm glad you think so. I've spent a lifetime thinking about them. Anyway, thank you for indulging me, Magdalene. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was illuminating. Until later. Until then. Well. We didn't actually want to talk to him, we wanted to talk to Smokey. But, I mean, okay. Good day, Mistress Druckerin. I've told you, Smokey, call me Magdalene. Hmm, old habits, I suppose. What brings you to my corner of the woods? More gossip? Uh, only ancient gossip? I was wondering if you knew anything about the old pagan and Roman mines? 
Uh, yeah. The mines? Is this a new interest of yours, Magdalene? I don't see the townsfolk trick out there as much as it, much anymore. Last I saw, there were two twins making trouble. They know a way in, but I'll be damned if I ever sit foot close to that place. What are you so interested in, in, in over there? The mural in the rat house needs a section about the earliest days of Tassing. The mines are the oldest part of Tassing, and you keep a keen ear. I thought you might have heard something. I don't know about getting down into the mines, but I do know a fair few stories about them and the other Roman ruins around here. The old stories my father used to tell me when he was a burner of Tassing. The one about Mars and Tassia, the nymph, was always my favorite. Though I blame that on my youth. Uh, Mars? The Roman god of war and ag agriculture, Mars represented civilization and peace through military might. Of course he did. Pax Romana and all, isn't it? Tassia? Like Tassing? Hmm. Folk named the town after a pagan god, a Roman one at that. I don't mind telling you a tale, Magdalene, but I warn you, it's a bit... bawdy. Oh, count me curious? Well, I need something about the Romans to put on the mural. Oh, uh, I don't need to hear those spots. I've read plenty of Roman myths. I'm sure none of it will surprise me. Maybe not, but I won't have your father hounding me for cur coarseness. Folk in this town don't like me anyhow. But I'll tell you the decent bits of what I remember. Alright, what's the story? Ugh, every- oh. Yeah, everyone excludes me from the fun. You'll have your fun in time, Magdalene. You just wait and see. Alright, alright. So what's the story? Well, legend says that Mars was hunting in the woods and spied a fat boar for the taking. He just pulled back his spear when he heard a woman scream in terror. Of course, the creature ran off, and the guard was angry at the loss of his quarry. So, he tramped through the woods to see why a woman was in the forest and not in the local town. Why would a god be hunting in Tassing's forest? How should I know? Maybe he just wanted a brisk walk. Besides, why should anything the gods do make sense? These were the old days when spirits and ghosts prowled. What do you mean, prowled? Uh, you're just trying to scare me? Ghosts aren't real, human spirits, goat... Uh, yeah, what do you mean, prowled? Prowled, you know, like spirits uh, and other evil things do. I can't just say they walked through the woods like you or me. They prowled. Alright, alright, keep going. So, Mars found a nymph, Tassia, bathing in a spring with a fat, ugly satyr goading her from the shore. Enraged at seeing the trapped nymph, Mars transformed into a wolf and slew the satyr. And in return, well... Huh? Tassia bathed the god. <laughs> they bathed? Question mark? In a manner of speaking, yes. When Mars left the pool, he dripped onto the ground and it blossomed with flowers and crops. They say that's why this valley is so fertile. Oh, I think what he means. I think I get what he means. Uh, Mars got around, didn't he? Was there any nymph he didn't have his way with? Um, might be tricky to paint on the mural. Oh my... Uh, did you make that up? How do I know? Yeah, well, yeah, Mars got around, didn't he? Hehe. <laughs> he was the god of virility, wasn't he? You can see why I like that tale in my youth. So much of what the Romans left behind was destroyed over the years, but I like that we still have these tales. You can never really destroy stories as long as the people to tell them. Yeah, that's true. Of course, the Romans left a hell of a lot behind too. The town is more Roman than Bavarian, really. Well, we are part of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, because of how long it was a Roman colony? That's ridiculous. We're Bavarian, not Roman. Alright, alright, the town was named after Tassia, the nymph. Yeah. That, and how much of the town is built upon the Roman foundations. Tassing is actually much smaller now than it was in the Romans' day. At least, that's what I make of it. The ruins go deep into the forest, and all the way to the old mine. Half of Tassing is built on Roman stone. Take a walk around town, and you'll start noticing things. We use their stone to build. The old temple in Satya's shrine has grown over, but the aqueduct runs for miles. Even the abbey used to be an old Roman fort. You can see some of the Roman paved, paved stones under the road if you look hard. We may not be Roman, but this town is. Tassing has been building upon itself for hundreds of years. What a beautiful idea. Never realized how much we relied on the Romans for our infrastructure. 
Uh, aren't also and aren't much of a legacy. It's all rubble now. We used um. Yeah, what a beautiful idea. That's the way of things. Most people don't notice the old stones. Too busy in town to notice what's right in front of their eyes. Hmm, maybe I should go and take a look at the mine. I get a better sense of what things were actually like. Haha, <laughs> nothing will stop you, I see. Well, I won't either. Just keep an eye out for any wolves or satyrs you might see down there, huh? Uh, I'll let you know if I see any, thanks. Good luck, Magdalene. Be safe. Okay, so I think we're doing it then, guys. I think maybe it is time for a little sojourn down into the mine. Let us just make sure we're not missing out on anything else. No. Let's check the journal. Uh, da -da -da -da. Apollo and Artemis. I should ask them if they know a safe way down to the shop. Okay, we'll talk to the twins. We spoke to Baltas, he gave us some rope. Maybe too carnal for the mural, but maybe I could use it. Uh, the story from Smokey, that's fine. It's, I wonder if he hid the book somewhere before he left. I should ask around. Martin Bauer. We have to do that, don't we? Martin Bauer stole one of the copies before he fled town. Okay, so... Yeah, maybe we... Well, okay, let's do that quickly. Let's see if we can find Martin Bauer. And then head down into the mine shaft. I mean, like I say, that, that mine shaft, something's gonna happen for sure. So I just want to make sure we've covered all bases before then. Morning, Magdalene. How's Klaus? Enduring. Even when his speech is slurred, he keeps a cheerful heart. I don't know what life would be like without him. Klaus is a good man, Magdalene. Tassing is a better place thanks to him. He's one of the few in Tassing who hasn't been on my back all, all this time. What do you mean? Don't pretend like you haven't heard. Town folk have whispered about shit about me for years. So what if I occasionally got into a few brawls? I'm an honest man. I wasn't involved with what happened to Otto Zimmerman. I supported his cause. I pulled my weight around here. Tilled the soil, salted the meats, provided for Brigitte and Kraft. I've done enough backbreaking work for this family. Can a man just have a goddamn rest? Why are you always getting into those fights anyway? Uh, I believe you, Martin. You seem like you could use a rest, but yeah, damn right. Right, I've lost enough time that it says it is. Time for you to go. Uh, wait, I almost forgot the reason I came to you. I was trying to learn about the history of Tassing. I was told you could help. Me? What do I know about history? I heard you stole a book from that baron all those years ago, the one who was murdered. Uh, Mother Illuminata told me you borrowed a book of the local history from Baron... Ro yeah, let's, let's go with the... The sensitive version. Mother Illuminata? Oh, you mean one of the old nuns from the convent? Uh, sure, a book. I might have taken it back then. Oh, he doesn't remember because he's not the real Martin. That was a lifetime ago. I can't remember the book or what I did with it. Those years are a blur. Probably threw it away somewhere or left it at home. Wouldn't have been uh, much for me to do with the book. I can't read. Too unique for me to have sold, too. No one outside Tassin cares about its history anyway. Maybe I should ask Brigitte if she remembers anything? Sure, couldn't hurt. It was decades ago, but she's the one who remembers shit. Thanks for the help, I guess. Uh-huh. If there's nothing else, I've got work to do. Until later, Martin. Until then. Okay, so yeah, let's talk to Brigitte. Magdalene, how are you keeping? Uh, I'm eager to continue work on the mural. I have so much to do before Christmas. I'm certain it will be the pride of Tassing when you're through. You've always had your mother's talent for art. And how is your dad? Uh, you're, the, you're one of the only people who've asked how I'm doing before asking about my dad? Oh. I know how it is to be the sole caregiver. Your self disappears behind the needs of the person you're looking after. I worry about you, carrying that weight alone. I remember when my dad fell. We cared for him best we could, but those few months before he passed were a tough time for everyone. But I believe God will pull your dad through, whatever the doctor says. We need him. God willing, you're right. I am at his mercy. Uh, I don't know what I'll do if he dies. I feel crazy even thinking about it. Yeah, that, that feels honest. 
Should the worst come to pass, you will not be alone, Magdalene. Believe me. It may feel like you are, but... Aw, oh, that's kind words from her. Have you thought about what you'll do if... If your dad doesn't come through this? Dad would want me to keep the printing press? I mean, yeah, we know that. Truly don't know. Uh, let's go with... I can't think that far ahead right now. You're right, of course. I mean, we know he'd want us to keep the printing press. Focus on the here and now. Be here for your dad. But you're a good girl, Magda. There are any number of families in Tassing who'd be happy to take you. You have someone in mind, don't you? Uh, I promise you I do not. You must mean Otz, maybe? Heh <laughs> he's about as subtle as his father. God rest out of soul. Oh, I miss him. I wish I got to meet him properly, I mean. He made an impression, that's for certain. Oh, the girls around town knew better than to moon for him, though I, that didn't stop some of us. He was Evers from the start. As Otz appears to be yours, huh? But if nothing ever comes of that, know that you're always welcome in my family, Magda. Croft's a nice, hard-working boy. He's got a sharp mind. He can provide for a family. So Croft is their son. You trying to set me up with your son? Can you blame a mother for trying? You're a good, respectable girl, Magda. Any family would be lucky to have you as a daughter. I guess I'll consider it. I don't mean to be rude, but I prefer to decide on my own time. Um... I'm not sure we're a good match. Oh man, how do we... Not every mar marriage starts off on solid footing, but if you pray and work and trust in the Lord, you can find it in time. Believe me. Uh, if it's not working out, how can you be sure a couple belongs together? You're not making the prospect sound very enticing. Maybe I'll never get married. Hmm. Without a husband and children, who will care for you when you're old? The Lord made us from Adam's rib because he meant for us to be part of men. You would be lonely to never know that full fullness of purpose. That's no life for someone like you. You're not the first person to tell me so. I don't care about my life, I just want to take care of my dad. Uh, yeah, you're not the first person to tell me. That is because your elders are wise, Magda. Trust in our love for you, and in the Lord's purpose. In any case, I should get back to the chores. Remember what I said, whatever happens, you're always welcome in my home. Oh, before I forget, yep, yeah, we had a question. The book. Martin is supposed to have stolen it from that Baron who was killed years ago. Do you know what happened to it? Oh. I hope this doesn't get me into any trouble, but I still have it hidden in a drawer. Martin left it behind when he ran off. Why'd you keep it? What was I supposed to do? The Baron was killed soon after, and there I was, holding his stolen book. I didn't want Martin to get in any more trouble than he was already in. I never read it, though. I don't read well. Uh, could I take it off your hands? No one would even even know you kept it? I trust you to be true to your word, Magda. I'd like to have nothing more to do with it, to be frank. It reminds me of difficult times. A stolen book of a dead nobleman of our home. Perhaps it's spoiled our milk and turned our eggs all these years. Here you go. Please, don't tell anyone I had this. Ah, Historia Tassie. Oh, it's in Latin. I can understand a few words and phrases. I'll take a closer look in the evening. Thank you, Brigitta. You've been a big help. Of course, Magda. Be well now. God bless. You too, Brigitta. Until later. All right, this is going swimmingly. Like, we've got the book. Let's just head down that mine. I'm sure we'll find something useful there. And then... Yeah, this has definitely been a good haul. We did get a bit sidetracked with uh, Smokey's friend Voslov and his whole notion of transubstantiation being bogus. Hey, Magdalene. Hello, Apollo. What are you doing? Looking for frogs. Artemis says she saw one the other day, and we're trying to collect a bunch. What do you need the frogs for? Like, I'll tell you, you'll snitch. Hang on, we've seen this. Uh, if you don't tell me... No, we haven't seen this. If you don't tell me, maybe I will snitch. Your mother won't be happy to hear about whatever you're up to. Artemis always says mom doesn't care. Mom yells, but it, it's not about that. 
Sorry, Magdalene. I can't risk this one. Try asking Artemis. Oh, my word. Okay. Let's go find Artemis. A pig out here? It must have broken out of its pen. I wonder who it belongs to. Could it belong to the Bowers? Uh, no, where's, um... Artemis must be at the shrine of Sint... Uh, Tas of Sinsatia, then. And it would kind of be useful to talk to the twins about um, how to get down into the mine. So let's have a word. Oh, hey, Magdalene. Do you need anything? I'm a little busy right now. Uh, still catching frogs. I need you to show me how you... Uh... Yeah, still catching frogs. Damn it, Apollo. He can't keep his fat mouth shut. What do you want, Magdalene? Uh, I want to see what our forefathers and the Romans left behind. It's for the mural. The mural? You want to use our secret hideout for your mural? I want to see if they left anything down there I could use as a reference. Secret hideout? Uh, but everyone knows you two hide down there. Yeah, but they don't know how to climb down there, do they? It's secret enough. So why should I uh, show you how to get in? Um, because we're friends? You told my mother when I cut my hair so I didn't have to wear braids five years ago. I should... I still hold that grudge. Look, I'll show you how to get down into the mine, on one condition. You help Apollo and me out with our next prank. No telling, no snitching, no questions asked. Uh... Fine, tell me what you're up to. Okay. Father Thomas has been droning on and on about the plagues of Egypt, right? Apollo and I are collecting frogs to hide in the tabernacle. When Father Thomas opens it on Sunday, frogs will go everywhere. Oh my word. They want to replicate one of the plagues. <laughs> I can't wait to see... I can't wait to see Father Thomas's face uh, if you can get away with it. But yeah, why, why in the world do you want to do that? Father Thomas keeps saying Apollo and I are on the path of rebellious Egyptians with frogs and locusts. We're going to prove him right and summon a bunch of frogs in mass. So, what do you want me to do? We stole the tabernacle key, but we need to put it back before he notices. You want me to put the key back? Precisely. Look, we stole the key early to make sure it was the right one. We'll steal it again once we're actually... Uh, once we actually stuff the frogs in there. But in the meantime, it needs to go back. I need you to replace the key on the altar in the church. Apollo and I would attract too much attention, but you, you're the town's goody-goody. Which is why I'm asking absolute, taking no, absolutely no part in this. Sorry, Optimus. I'm not that bad, am I? Uh, I'm not. I'm just a better sneak than you. That's bullshit and you know it. Anyway, will you do it? I'll get you into the mine if you do. Oh. Let's, let's think about this here. I need a way to get into the mine, but this seems risky. I shouldn't let the twins get away with this. They cause enough trouble as it is. The twins are already causing trouble, but this prank seems harmless. It does seem harmless. It's just like frogs in the tabernacle. Father Thomas will be missing his key too. Going along with this can't cause that much trouble, can it? Should we do it? Alright, give me the key. Perfect. Good luck, Magdalene. Let me know when it's done. Oh, for crying out loud. So... Uh, I suspect it might be useful to do this. As... What, it will guarantee that we learn of the secret entrance into the mine? Oh, maybe we shouldn't have spoken to him. God bless you, Magdalene. God bless you, Father Thomas. Uh, I found your missing key. No, um... Any luck finding the tabernacle key? Alas, no. It remains out of reach. Um, I'll show sure it'll turn up eventually, Father. Yes, as the Lord sees fit, in the meantime, I shall keep looking. Knock on the door will be open. Uh, knock and the door will be open after all. God bless you, Magdalene. Alright, we can't, um... Yeah, we, we, we said we wouldn't spill the beans, did we? Alright. Looks like the church is empty. I can leave the key on the pulpit where Father Thomas is sure to find it. 
There, better get out of here before Th Father Thomas comes back. I'll let Artemis know I returned the key too. Okay, so we did our part. We held up our end of the bargain. God bless you, Magdalene. Okay, he's not saying anything else, that's good. Honestly, this girl better get us into the mine. Hey, Mags. How's your errand going? I did it. I left the key where Father Thomas would find it. Brilliant! Alright, as promised, Apollo and I will show you how to get into the mine. Come on, follow me. Oh, they actually are going to the mine. Are you sure you want to do this, Magdalene? There's some creepy things down there. Who knows how many people have died in those mines? Right, it's probably haunted. You should back out now. While you still can. Uh, you two don't scare me. I'm going down there. Uh, I'd like to, honestly, but I don't really... Yeah, I'm going down there. Alright, but you can't blame us if, if a ghost gets you. We want... You were warned. Anyway. It's not that bad, as long as you know where to put your feet. We do it all the time. Come on, let's get on with it. I don't want to get in trouble again. Fine, fine. Start with your feet on the inner ledge, Magdalene, and then look for ledges that look like shelves. Alright, here goes. Don't forget to move your hands down before your feet so you don't slip. Hike your skirt a little, uh, so you don't get it caught, too. It's easier that way. Wait, the rung, the missing rung! Oh, right, there's a missing rung near the bottom. Why is that a... And that's gonna be important. Watch your step or you'll fall. Uh-huh, like this idiot. <laughs> Why do you have to say that? Why do you have to always have me emba have to embarrass me? All right, I got it, thanks. So I'm guessing if we had gone here without consulting them, then what, maybe we would have fallen down and gotten hurt or something? So this is definitely a new environment. I don't understand, though. If this mine is as valuable as they say it is, like a salt mine, and the Romans understood its worth, then why was it abandoned? I did it. I'm at the bottom. Good job, Magdalene. Good luck doing whatever you're doing down there. Hope you don't die, Magdalene. Climbing out might be trickier. Oh well, time to take a look around. So are we not going to be using the rope that um, Balthazar gave us? Alright, let's look around. There are lots of different coins down here. How odd. It's not like this is a saint's well. Oh, a tablet. There's still writing on it. Oh, it's a poem. Hmm, I think it's a love note. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Rising passion. Poor Jay, I hope her lover was better at things uh, other than poetry. Oh, I would have chucked this shit down a mine shaft too. Um, rising passion. Yeah, let's uh, let's be humored by it. Oh, this looks like a larger version of some of Baltus's contraptions. A wheel. Now that I'm down here, I should see what I can find from the Roman era and before. Oh, bones. They're far too big to be human. That's what must have scared Apollo so much. Uh, should we go down the cave? Oh, wow. There is, uh, a lot of stuff to see here. Oh, a piece of pottery. It's beautiful. Oh, these must be the same kind of figurines Till and the other farmers find in the fields. To think that there are so many remnants of our ancestors scattered in fields and caves like this. Uh, yep. Done that, okay. What else are we gonna find? 
another piece. I wonder if they're all in the same pot. Hmm. There's pottery scattered everywhere. Okay, very cool. Yet another pottery piece. I wonder if uh, there's a special event that triggers if we find them all. Here's another piece. Like uh, like if like when Yugi assembles the Millennium Puzzle or something like that. Another shard. What does this say? There's a Latin inscription here. Tassia, give me water or Pluto, Pluto, Pluto preserve me. The salt is drying me to death. <laughs> of course. Yikes, doesn't sound like working down here was pleasant. Hmm. Let's go down here. Oh, this looks like a Roman map of Tassing. I wonder what's changed. Let's see if I can map everything out. Salina, Castrum, Belnium, Aquidus. There's the aqueduct and the spring. The abbey was an old fort up on the hill. And there's the rest of town. Wait, what's this building? I don't recognize it. Mithraim? I don't recognize that word from any of my books. I can't quite tell what it's meant to label on the map. Maybe some sort of temple? Well, whatever it is, it's not in Tassing now. That's so odd. Was it an ancient temple or something to Mithras? Or one of the Roman gods? Oh, another shard. This almost looks like an altar. But what would an altar be doing in a salt mine? It's even carved out of, carved out of the salt. I think it's a statue of Mithras. He's usually depicted with a dagger and torch. It's less detailed than I expected. So uh, that is Magdalene's uh, knowledge of uh, Roman literature and law coming to help there. Another inscription is not very formal. A worker must have carved it. Later soul ascended in the Mithraeum. My soul will descend in this damn hall of salt. Christ, that's rough. Mithraeum, like a temple to Mithras? Hmm. Okay. Hey, this piece looks like it matches the other pieces I found. More Latin writing. If we cannot enter the Mithraeum, we will make our own altar to the gods. There's that word again, Mithraeum. It must have been an important place for the Romans. I wonder where it is, actually. Did we... Like, where... Hang on, where... Could we see where it is? Like, it's kind of at the front. Is it... Like, you got the aqueduct there to the back. It, 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 it must be, like, right where the actual town of Tassing is. Maybe the whole town itself was the temple? I mean, that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, but this has been educational. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, another piece. Hmm, I have a lot of these pottery pieces. I should find out if they're all from the same pot. Okay, here we go. Pottery game. Uh, how are we going to do this? So this is the central piece. Okay. Um... Where do we want to go with this? Actually... Uh, no. Let's... let's try this. I mean, that feels like it fits, but... No, that's not right. How do we... can we put it back? Oh god. Alright, okay, I think we've done this. Come on. Let's finish it. Uh, wait, is it this side, or...? Oh, here? Good. I think we've done it, guys. Wait, wait. Got it. The figures on this plot, uh, on this pot lid, look like they're telling a story. These paintings must depict an, 
depict an early myth even before the Romans. Hmm, let's see. This must be Perchta, and those must be forest spirits, part of the wild hunt? Oh god, the next part looks like a human sacrifice. Someone, maybe a chieftain, is sacrificing a man to Perchta? The bottom half of the lid continues the story. These look like spirits. They must be coming in to feast on the sacrifice. That must be how our ancestors tried to keep Tassing safe. They offered sacrifices to Perchta. To think that our ancestors made this, and I'm holding it now? Maybe this is what I could paint in the mural? This is part of our history, but I'm not sure that this is the best part to portray. It's barbaric and very pagan. I doubt anyone would want to see our past shown this way. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the best way to... I'll have to think more about it before I decide for certain. Alright, I better keep going before I run out of oil in my lamp. Alright, cool. Oh, a cave-in. The wood here looks newer than the first part of the mine. Was this collapse recent? Hmm, I won't be able to go any further with the, all this rubble. I suppose this is as far as I can go. Still, the murals on the walls showed me what Tassing was like when the Romans were here. I wonder if I can find out where the Mithraeum was, or what it was. And putting the pottery shard back together showed one of the earliest stories of Tassing. I think I've seen everything I can down here, and my oil is running out. Time to climb back out. Okay, this has been really useful, and most educational. So I'm happy with that. It didn't take as long as I thought, but... Like, we did learn an awful lot about the town and the mine and everything. Uh-oh. Ah! Wait, who's that? Hello? Is someone there? I'd better get out of this shaft before another rock comes crashing down. Oh man, are we gonna be okay? Who was that? Even Apollo and Artemis would have helped me out of there. Well, now that I have more information, I can make decision some decisions on the first section of the mural. I should get back to the rat house and get to work. Alright guys, well I think that is a good uh, bit of information that we've gathered so far. Time for a quick break, and when we get back, we are heading over to the Rat House. But that's all for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.